I, the other day, I was talking about how to test whether you are pre-diabetic. So today I want to explain the different stages of insulin resistance. So this is what your body is going through and what is actually happening in your body in terms of insulin levels and blood glucose levels before you're actually diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. So before you get this diagnosis, you are moving through several stages and each stage has a distinctive pattern of elevated insulin. And Mr. Joseph Kraft is a guy who developed this system and he also has something called a Kraft test, which I'm not going to go through here, but it, um, we can probably do that in another video, but it's going to take too long. But he has uh, defined these five different stages and they look something similar to this. So if you look at this graph, you have insulin on the Y axis. So the further up you are, the more insulin release you have. And on the X axis, that's where you have the time, how long it time, how long time it takes for the insulin to go up and go down, etc. So in pattern one, which is the light blue color that you see, insulin is working the way it should. Insulin rises quickly after you eat, but it doesn't go too far up. And after about two, three hours, it's down to baseline again. So this is where this is how it should look. This is what a healthy insulin and blood glucose response looks like. So that is just insulin, by the way, just to clarify. In pattern two, on the other hand, you can see that insulin goes up a lot more than in pattern one. So this is the kind of green blue above that one. Um, another thing that happens here is that it takes much longer for insulin to come back down to baseline. So maybe about four to five hours. So your glucose response still looks normal on a blood test. Your doctor won't pick it up. They won't see what's going on unless they are checking your insulin levels after you have eaten. And you will be sitting home being told that everything's fine. You're perfectly healthy. So if you watched my previous video on how to measure, measure insulin resistance with a HOMA IR test, this stage would not be picked up on this test because your fasting insulin is still normal. And usually they're asking you to do a 12 hour fast before you go in for a fasting anything test. Okay, so this is happening silently. You won't really notice. This is very early stage of insulin resistance and the home IR would totally miss it. Now in pattern three, insulin is starting to look a bit sluggish it goes slightly higher than in pattern two but it takes two to three hours to peak which is quite a long time and even longer to come back down to baseline but it still goes back to baseline so the glucose response most of the time looks normal it can be a little bit elevated in the beginning because it takes a bit longer for the insulin to get up to where it needs to be but still after an overnight fast your insulin level is going to be back down to baseline so this wouldn't be picked up on a home ir test either so a fasting insulin test will not see what's going on in stage three either now in stage four we have insulin levels that never go down to normal levels so this is where the home ir test would pick up on any insulin resistance in a person that has normal blood glucose response but as you see there is no easy test to diagnose stage, stage two or three other than doing the craft test that I will probably do a separate video about this is a test it, it literally involves taking a lot of blood well not in each sample is not is not a huge volume but you need to take several samples over several hours of both insulin and blood glucose to measure so basically you do this over several hours which is why most people don't <laughs> offer these tests because it's very expensive it takes a lot of time for both the health professionals and the patients so you need to find someone who's willing to do this if you want to take the craft test unfortunately 
So you might be wondering about pattern 5. Well, there isn't a lot of action there. Not at all, actually. So that's the bottom one. Um, which is telling us that this person the, most likely has type 1 diabetes because there is barely any insulin present so they're probably unlikely to be producing any insulin or very little insulin. So if someone was measuring this, doing a craft test, then they would have to go and see the doctor straight away because that could potentially be very very dangerous and fatal. So there are the stages of insulin as defined by Joseph Kraft. Only stage 4 and 5 are stages that we can easily measure with various lab tests. So if you haven't checked out my video yet on how to measure your HOMA IR and you want to do that, that video is called how to test for pre-diabetes. So just head over there and watch that one if you want to know how you can do this at home. If you are already diabetic and you want some help with reversing your diabetes, you are more than welcome to join our Facebook group for type 2 diabetics. And before you leave, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any future videos and I will see you in the next video.